Welcome back to Central Coast Creations. In this video, we'll go into a little more detail on how we make our lavender and activated charcoal soap. Hope you enjoy this video and get a better idea how we make our soaps. We weigh all of our ingredients because it's more accurate. We start with about 36 ounces of organic aloe vera. We then mix in about 14 ounces of sodium hydroxide and we stir it until it's dissolved. Okay, now we're measuring out 40 ounces of coconut oil. Now, I, I don't know why he uses a machete, but it works for him. While the coconut oil is being melted down, we weigh out about 55 ounces of extra virgin olive oil. Once the coconut oil is melted, we combine our oils. Now, as you can see, we had a cover over the oils to prevent dust or any dirt from getting inside. All right, now Steve's checking the temperature of the oils and the aloe vera to make sure that they're about, like, within about 10 degrees of each other. slowly add the aloe solution to our oils as we begin to mix. Now we'll use a stick blender to mix it until we get to a light trace. Trace is nothing more than a thickening of the soap batter. So after we reach trace, then we divide our batter into the three separate colors. several different methods that we can use to make the colors and today we're going to be swirling the colors. We're always pleasantly surprised at the beautiful designs in the final product. After we pour into the loaf mold, the remaining soap batter will be poured into our specialty molds. We then let them sit for about 18 to 24 hours before we take them out of the molds and cut them. Now the next day and we're taking the soaps out of the molds to cut them. And once they're cut, we'll take our soaps to the soap room where they will cure over the next four to six weeks. Thank you for watching our channel. We hope it was informative. Any questions or comments, we'll make sure to get back to you. 
Follow us on Central Coast Creations on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Bless y'all. See you next time.